Hello, hello, hello. Hey everybody, Stacy here from Creatively Stacy. Um, I don't usually do lives two days in a row, but I am getting ready to work on this frame. And I just learned this trick not very long ago, and I, I wanted to share with you guys, um, in case you haven't heard of it. it. It's really easy to do, and inexpensive, and really cool. So, I'll show you a couple I've done. This one, back up here. Um, I framed, if you remember my tree art that we did, um, got the frame on that. And I did not, and I, here, this one, I also put a frame on this. Um, and I didn't, I just did a matte black um, chalk paint. You could um, seal it with wax or polyacrylic if you want a shinier finish. I like the more rustic, flat, distressed look. So anyways, I already started on this one, but it's really easy. This is going to be quick and short. I just want to show you how cool this is because I'm so excited about it. All right, let me turn you down. You pop on, say hello, say replay. Tell me if you already knew about this. How I, I can't believe I didn't know about this. So take your um, canvas. These are just canvases from um, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. You can get them in um, Amazon, whatever. Um, and I didn't paint the sides on this one because I knew I was going to frame it. So this is the coolest thing. Turn your painting over. Put it on a clean surface. Take a, where are you? A razor knife or a, a box cutter and go I already did three parts of this but just go just on the outside of these staples here with your cutter um, if you're really really into it you could get a heavy-duty staple puller and pull the staples but um, it's really not necessary and then you just pull this if you cut close to the staples, it comes out really pretty good. That's a canvas. Just remove it. Like so. Oop. Just throw your scraps on the floor, apparently. That's a thing. And I do have... Um, a little pair of pliers. Have been, anyways, let's see how we did here. Let me get a little bit more on the corners sometimes because I didn't get all the way through necessarily. Oh no, that's good. Just around these corner staples sometimes. Don't cut yourself. Be very careful, you guys. But this is just the coolest thing. I'm so excited that I learned this. I just... Now, the frames that are underneath these are not perfect frames. They're not made to be... Um, <laughs> they're not made to be decorative frames so who knows what you'll find but so far been pretty good so anyways this one just pull around that staple good so that's all there is to that so now your canvas is free of your frame I'll go back and clean pull this out so they're all they don't have little stuff stuck under them but anyways this is what is under your canvas can you believe this how cool is that now whatever you paint the frame is actually wider so if you have something really close to an edge um, you're gonna lose that but so you want to think about that a little bit before you do this otherwise you might have to get it professionally framed but then what you do is you lay down your, your painting, figure out where you want it framed at, what your, because like I said, you are going to lose just a little bit of it because the frame is bigger than, you can see my painting sticking out over here, the frame is bigger than um, the picture. So just figure out what you want, where you want it. Take your same cutter tool. Make sure you have a cardboard or a cutting mat or something. And just go along the edge of the wood. Use it as your template, I guess. You will need to do a little trimming up 
after the fact, most likely, I usually do. Maybe you're, excuse my head if it's in the way, you guys. Gotta get a little pressure on there. So just cut off whatever you don't need. And don't do it on a tutorial because you can't focus on what you're doing while you're doing it. Just like that. Okay. So you cut that off. And then what I do is I just hold my fingers on here so it doesn't um, move. Turn it over. Pull it tight and put um, a thumbtack in each side to kind of hold it for you. And then you just pull and use your staple gun and staple it back down all the way around. Now I'll paint this whatever color. You could stain it. You can leave it plain if you like it. Um, they usually have some lettering or something inside, so you might want to either sand it or paint it um, to get that off. But if I'm painting it, it just covers right up. So, And I don't worry about these little nails here. I, I like them. If you don't like them, I suppose you could pull them and glue them. But let's, let's be real here, people. Look, it's a frame in it. Look. And so anyways, once I get it painted, I'll staple that onto there. And I will have a framed piece, just like I did. Let me show you the back. Here, I'll show you the back of this one. This is the one I did those on, did that frame. And I just stapled the canvas down, put a picture hanger on it. We're good to go. So, don't count on tips every Tuesday, but how do you love it? It's just, I can't believe there it is. So now you know. Frame away. Have a great Tuesday, everybody. Thanks for all the love. See you soon. Bye.